Hello everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate a tool named called Fox and this is the tool we used for searching the vulnerability uh, related to the SQL injection and this tool leverages the platform uh, known as the Google search engine. So one of the benefit of regarding these tools once you discover uh, SQL injection is that it will show you that uh, this site is vulnerable for the SQL injection. So if you run a query with the parameters called you know, admin uh, dot php question mark id is equal to one then if in the google search you will not find whether this site is vulnerable for sql injection or not but this tool helps you to identify whether the site is vulnerable for sql injection or not so without further delay i am going to jump into the tool itself and i'll show you how we can uh, leverage this tool by identifying the SQL vulnerability for this parameter. So I just copy paste with the example which they have given and I'll, I'll go ahead and run with this with Python 3 and so let's, let's review the result. As you can see in the screen I found a couple of uh, successful results so we will test and validate all of these results. So I'm going to click one by one on all of these results and see whether these sites are vulnerable for SQL injection or not. So this is the first site and it has the value parameter news php the shamak id is equal to 42. We can check by by placing the, the semicolon or you can use the backward slash also or there will be like uh, they have uh, is apostrophe. So you can use apostrophe to identify whether this site is one of the four SQL injections. You can see on the screen, you got the SQL error. So let's try with the backward slash. Do we get the result from the backward slash scene? Yes, you can use the backward slash as well. So you got the same result. So it means this site is one level for SQL injection. Let's validate the another one, which has uh, uh, this, uh, this um, website ID is equal to 30, 37. We will use the same process backwards slash you see that it's throwing the error for SQL injection. So I mean, you can see that we till this point we got the, the proper results and uh, we can test this third one, third website and it's taking time. Meanwhile we can uh, we can go, go to the another parameter which I have not testing. Here I am testing the admin dot php question mark id is equal to one parameter it's usually that admin uh, you know the username and password the admin used to use so this is the one first site so we'll click on this site and let's see whether we can get it this one error over there so we can place the backwards slash yes throwing the mysql error and saying the syntax so if uh, you can customize this tool as to tailor your requirements because you can have it to a specific site where you want to look for some certain parameters. These parameters you can put into the queries and these queries will you know be automatically tested by this tool. So that's it with this video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye, take care.